Today we're going to learn how to set up for an arterial line. As nurses, our responsibility is usually to gather the supplies that the doctor or advanced provider needs to insert the line and then also to set up the materials that we need to transduce the arterial blood pressure so that we can see the blood pressure on the monitor. So let's get started. Now here's the things that we will need. We will need sterile gloves. Make sure you ask what size the provider needs. We need a pressure infusion bag, one liter normal saline, one wrist support, an arterial needle, a dressing, a flow track, or a simple A-line pressure tubing. We also need a vamp and connector. We're going to use a simple pump pole and also an alligator clip. We're gonna take our normal saline. I like to start with that, opening it up. And then the pressure bag. And you're going to feed the normal saline through the pressure bag. It has a little hook on it that you can see right here. So you can hang the saline inside the pressure bag on the hook. For this, we're going to use an Edwards flow track, but I'm also going to show you the simple arterial setup as well. This is what the simple arterial setup looks like. Do you see the teal and red cables? Those are our pressure cables, and those are going to be facing down. We're going to spike the normal saline bag. And then on the alligator clip, we are going to put the flow track with the pressure cables facing down. Now, since we have vamps at our facility, I take off the tubing that comes in the package and I put our vamp. Vamps are an awesome way to collect blood specimen without any waste. So I always try to use those if we have them available. First thing I do when I open the vamp is I take the air out of the collection chamber. and then screw it onto the flow track. I'm going to hang it here while I put air into the pressure bag. The pressure bags are great because they show you exactly how to use them on the bag. So if you ever forget, just look at the back of the bag and there it is. So depending on where you have the stopcock faced, you're either going to maintain pressure inflate or deflate. We're going to pump air in with the stopcock facing to the side. Now I always tell new people you want to squeeze until you feel the burn and then squeeze a little bit more because you are going to be squeezing for about a minute or so. You'll know once you've reached the right amount of pressure, you're going to have the pressure valve and the green. Now we're going to flush the tubing. You're going to pull the little flush port, which is a blue little rubbery port. And on the simple A-line, it looks like this. And pulling it will allow the fluid to come through and prime the tubing. Since it's connected to the pressure bag, it is going to be a little bit forceful. Next, we're going to take our pressure cable and we're going to plug it into our monitor. Once you plug the pressure cable into the monitor, as you can see here, arterial did pop up. If you need a different pressure though, you can change it from there. It's going to be the same cable for all of them. So here's arterial. If you want to do CVP, notice the color is blue and if you wanna do PA. Those are the most commonly ones that we use at our facility. But since we're going to do arterial today, let's go back to arterial and see how the color is red. 
Next, we need to level the flow track to the patient. So you want it to be at the patient's mid chest area, which is called the fourth intercostal space or phlebostatic access, which is going to give you the most accurate pressure. Connect the pressure cable to the flow track. Next, we need to zero the flow track. So we're going to base the stopcock up, give it a little flush. Here it's shown with the basic arterial line setup. And see how it says not zero? You're going to click on it and go over here to zero and give it a few seconds and it says zero. Then you put the stopcock back to the middle. Once the arterial line is inserted, the advanced provider will ask you for your setup. So you're going to hand them the end of the vamp or the ends of your arterial tubing and they will connect it to the A-line. Once it's connected, this is the waveform that you wanna see. See in the red, how it goes up sharply, then comes down, there's a little notch, and then it goes down, and then it goes up, and then down, and a little notch, and it goes down. That little notch is called a dichrotic notch, which is classic for what you're going to see with a perfect arterial line. Now notice how the blood pressure also changes from second to second. If you don't get a perfect waveform right away, one way to troubleshoot is to press optimize scale, and that'll recalibrate to make sure it's reading it correctly. And that's it. If you guys want more information on arterial lines, such as exactly how to read the arterial line waveform, or would like to just see more ICU videos in general, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.